All right, buying a Kawasaki mule. You can see it's a little rough here. So, trailer's pretty much tapped out. Hopefully we make it home. Got a long ride ahead of us. See, it's just rusted out completely. Got her for 225 bucks though, so we'll see. Right here it is, Kawasaki Mule. I believe it's in 1988. We had to uh, have a skid loader load this on to the trailer. You can see the tires are pretty much flat. Pretty rough looking. Missing a car boot, and that's missing the starter too. Right here. And here's the, the bed in the back. A little rusty. We're gonna try to get the air compressor out, pump up these tires, and see if we can roll this thing off the trailer. I think it's neutral. Should be neutral right there. All right, let's get the air compressor pumped up here. Hopefully those tires can hold air and we can roll it off the the trailer otherwise I don't know how we're gonna get that off I need some heavy equipment <laughs> it'd be nice to have like a forklift or a skid loader something to move around these machines but uh, that was like the sketchiest ride ever riding back the I thought the trailer was gonna like break in half every bump I hit you could just feel it was not good <laughs> not good at all but all right let's go try pumping up those tires I'm most worried about this spot right here. The carburetor was off of it, so rain was just going right into it. Over here. So, rain may not have gone into this one because of that boot. But, and then right here. Then the starter too. Let's see if that spins. See going through there. Right here. Floor is a little iffy. This one. Somehow I'll get these front ones now.
I got it about halfway off. Yikes. A couple of animals living in there. All right, we got her up here. We're gonna vacuum all this stuff out and try to get this tire jacked up and get that bead on there so I can roll it better. But yeah, it's a little rough. We got all this cleaned in here. Let's do the back over here. This is probably the worst part. Ooh, that's not looking too good. Not looking good at all. It's like packed full of stuff, like mud. Yikes. Spark plug in there, that's good. Hmm. Let's hook up a jumper to it, see if we get any power. Yeah, well, uh, we'll hook up a jumper to it, see if we can get power to this. We've got lights right here. Looks like the key is missing. It says ACC off on start. So that is missing from here. Looks like it plugged right into here, so we can just hot start it. Seat folds back down like that. I have a feeling the pistons 
That'll get me stuck in there. We can let it soak with some WD-40 for now. We got the charger hooked up. Let's see if we get some power. All right, we're touching the brown and white together. Oh yeah. So the oil and temp light comes on. I don't know what this one's for. Let's see what this one's for. The black and white together. So the wire is down here. It looks like the brown and white is on to turn on, and then the black and white touching is for the starter, I believe, because you can hear a click. You hear the click, or for like a pump of some sort. Not really too sure, but we've got we've got power. Get the lights work here. Lights don't look like they work. You can see it illuminating down there. Horn works good. I don't know what this is for. Does that light work up there? Nope. Oh, that might be for that. Alright, at least some of the stuff works here. Let's see if we can look down in the engine now. Maybe take out a spark plug or something. Through here, we can get to the crank, see if it's locked up. Which, pretty sure it is. Oh, yeah, she's locked up. She's locked up good. Oh, man. Well, looks like we're tearing into it. <laughs> Try to get these spark plugs out.
Uh oh. That's not good. It's rusty. That is not good. Hard to see down there, but we're gonna have to get the camera. This side potentially could be good because the boot was over the covering right there. See, that's where the that's where the boot would go, and it curves down so the water couldn't get in. But this one's wide open, so this one's probably going to be worse than this one. Let's get this spark plug out. All right, we got the second plug out. Not as rusty, so I think that cylinder is probably going to be the better one. You can see it's not that bad. Bad, but not as bad as the other one. All right, let's take a look underneath here. See what's going on. It's in the front of the machine here. Oh, man. I think those are gonna come off. Look up here. Radiator. Very small, thin radiator. There's a fan back there too. You can see the fan. Yeah, that must be where you fill it up. And there's, it looks like a master cylinder for a brake. For the front brakes, I believe. Is right there. Yeah, those bolts are just rusted on. Well, we could probably drain the coolant out. There's a drain plug right down here for the coolant. All right, coming back up here, I think there's coolant going through all these lines. All these have to come off in order to get the head off. So let's see what's in these lines. I got these lines off. Nothing in there. Completely dry, and then look down in there. It's all crusty. But yeah, those are off. Let's get the choke cable out of the way, throttle cable out of the way. And uh, we can probably get the head off now. Get this pump out of the way.
right, that looks pretty good in there actually. Cams look good. Chain looks good. That looks pretty dang clean actually. Looks really clean. Alright, let's see what else we have to get off of here. Look at these lines running through the cam right here. It's like an oil line. Like an oiler. There's one on the other side too. Going all the way down like that. This is how you adjust the valves right here. Just with the screwdriver. Those are pretty easy. Well, it looks like we have to take the cams off. And get the head off. See what those pistons look like. All right, we got all the holders off. Um, basically, basically it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. It's kind of how it goes. So this can move now. We gotta get the little oil lines off of here. These are the oil lines that came off. You can see there's a little O-ring that held them in place. Basically, the bolt held them down and the O-ring went in there and they I guess oil's pumped through there, probably. So those came off fairly easily. All right, we got the cam chain tensioner out. This was buried. It's underneath the engine, so we had to get the pipe off. The pipe is sitting right here. That came completely off. Back over here. And then now that chain should be loose right there. All right, we got the cams out. I did have to take uh, one sprocket off in order to get that chain off. So we got it all apart here. Chain doesn't move, engine does not rotate, so I think the pistons are locked up. But uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight big bolts we have to get off. So once we get those off, this whole head should just come right off, hopefully. <laughs> Here are the cams over here. So this cam is the intake cam. You can see it's loose because I took off the sprocket. But that's what that looks like. It says 79 on it. This one says 84 on it. So that's the exhaust cam right there. Just for reference for later when we put it back together. All right, these are the big bolts that came um, from the head. It's pretty long. Go back over here. We're gonna try to take off the head right now. Hopefully it pops off of here.
Alright, so far it doesn't look too bad in there. There's a big chunk of mud piled up right here on this piston. But I think those might move. I don't know, it's hard to tell if they're rusted or not. This one's got some water in it, you can see. So it's probably not great. It's a mix of WD-40 and water. It's kind of hard to see in here. But uh, you can see the cylinder walls aren't too bad. You zoom up a little bit closer. You can see it's not, I mean it's rusty, but it's not, I don't think it's unsavable. And this one's right stuck at the top. So I think the, the cylinder needs to come off for sure. Because it doesn't turn over or anything. Take a look at the head here. The top part's in good shape. Um, but if we turn it around, you can see it's not super great. There's a couple valves that are stuck open, one right there. See that, how it slid open? I think that one's stuck open too a little bit. So really it's just that one. It's either bent valve or it's just stuck open a tiny bit. Um, we can clean those up a bit, but yeah, it's, it's a little rough in there. Yeah, you can see it, you can see it coming through. It's really rough looking. So, the head definitely needs a lot of work. I'm guessing all those valves are stuck. I guess we could test it out here quick. <laughs> yeah. stuck fun times all right we gotta get off the cylinder I think that will be for next video we got quite a bit accomplished today we got the head off got the cams off cleaned it up a bit it's definitely rough probably my roughest project I've ever done so We'll see if we can get that cylinder off and if we can save it. Next video we'll dig into the cylinder and uh, get into that fun stuff. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next video. And until next time, we are out.